Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 20 of the European Road Trip with RB Leipzig. Today we have a roundup of games for you. We talk about one loan departure and we look forward to the next episode and the game with Ajax in the Champions League. Don't forget if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Right, let's dive in, shall we? So the first thing we need to take a look at today is a departure, and that is Jermaine Pazella. He has joined Sevilla on loan for the rest of the season. Obviously, bringing in Davison Sanchez meant that we were one central defender over what we really needed, and it was decided that Pazella was the man to go out on loan. Now moving on to the results we've had since we were last together and following the match with Bayern Munich. The link is up the top for that one. It was a 3-1 win over Cologne. Let's take a look at the goals. And we open the scoring on 35 minutes. Soloff with the ball through to Olmo. He slams it into the net for 1-0. Cologne did equalise on 39 minutes. Saraki on the edge of the box. Grisella with the shot into the bottom corner beyond Galashi. Good finish that for Cologne's equaliser. But then we took control in the second half. Grimaldo with the ball down the left. And Ku will knock it into the centre. Grimaldo once more sending it into the six-yard box. There's Soloff heading in for number two. And we've completed the scoring with about five minutes to play. Klosterman with the ball over the top. Torres with the touchdown before he slides it across to Soloff as he makes it three as we beat Cologne by three goals to one. We followed that up with the opening salvo in the Champions League and a trip to Stamford Bridge where we drew one all with Chelsea, Hakimi and Olmo with the goals. Let's take a look at them. Took a while to get going this one, but Thomas Lamar whipped in the corner. Thought we'd cleared it. Lamar will send it back into the centre as he finds Hakimi to head in for Chelsea to go in front. But we were not to be denied our points as Olmo equalised for us. Ferran Torres down the right-hand side. There is Olmo in the middle. Clivert with the initial shot, and Olmo with the shot in for 1-1 against Chelsea. Then followed that up with a 2-0 win over Bayer Leverkusen. Let's take a look at the goals from this one. And it was a comfortable win over Bayer Leverkusen. Justin Clivert coming down the centre of the field before rolling it through to Paulson as he fires us in front. Then we had a red card situation. Davidson Sanchez was sent off, but we did score the second goal. Kanant, who came on in his place, added number two, and we saw it home comfortably in the second half as we won by two goals to nil. We followed that result up with a 3-1 win over Borussia Dortmund. A very comfortable win as it turned out in the end. Let's take a look at the goals. We open the scoring on five minutes. Ferran Torres with the run down the centre before he plays it through to Yusuf Paulson and he fires it beyond the goalkeeper for 1-0. We doubled our lead on 14 minutes. Heinrich with the ball on the right-hand side. Plays it into Olmo. He will cross it towards the far post. There is Cliver tapping in for number two. And then Borussia Dortmund try to make a game of it. Guerrero with the ball on the left-hand side. He will cross it into the centre. There is Marco Royce heading in for 2-1. But we weren't to be denied. We scored the third goal in the 94th minute. Yusuf Paulson with the ball running towards the goal before slotting it into the corner to give us a 3-1 win over Borussia Dortmund. And we made it a hat-trick of 3-1 wins with a win over Schalke. Let's take a look at the goals from this one. Again, it took a little while to get going this one, but the second half started with a bang. Ferran Torres with the ball into the centre, off the post and off the back of the goalie and into the net to give us the lead, which we doubled 10 minutes into the second half. And Bacano with the ball over the top looking for Cliver. Paulson entering the six-yard area. There he is nodding in for number two. And he scored his second goal of the afternoon with about 20 minutes to play. Berg with the ball over the top. Paulson in behind the defence. Beyond the goalkeeper for 3-0. Schalke did grab a consolation goal with about 10 minutes to play. Castro with the ball through to Moran. He puts the ball into the net to get the consolation goal for Schalke. Thankfully they didn't get any more as we won by three goals to one. So on to the competition, scream we go, and it's very good reading for us early doors in the season. We are on to 19 points, 
still without defeat. Eintracht Frankfurt are two points behind us on 17. Then come Bayern Munich on 16. Wolfsburg have 15 with Hoffenheim. There are Borussia Dortmund on 13. Six points off the pace at the moment. Freiburg, remember when they were bottom of the table? They're up to seventh now. are on 13 as well with Mönchengladbach on 12. Mays on 11. Down at the bottom, Panavorn are not having a great time back in the Bundesliga. They're bottom on three, but they're joined on three with Union Berlin, Stuttgart and Werder Bremen all on three. Schalke have four, Bayer Leverkusen have six, Hertha Berlin have eight, Cologne have nine with Hamburg on ten. It's worth moving on to the Champions League quickly. So Ajax beat Dynamo Kiev on match day one. Obviously, we drew with Chelsea, as you've seen just now. So the match between us and Ajax next time around is the battle between the top two at the moment. And a trip to the Amsterdam Arena will not be easy next time around, but I've been very happy with the season so far. Just the two draws from it, one in the league, one in the Champions League with Chelsea, which on the balance of the game was probably a well-earned point from our perspective. Chelsea were a bit all over us at times in that game, but we've done very, very well elsewhere. As I say, it's been a very good start to the season and hopefully we can keep the train going when we make our trip to Ajax next time around. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but would like to do so, please click that subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Also, don't forget I'm a member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. I will see you next time for our trip to Ajax. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.